It's the next morning and I'm really tired. I think it's 8.15. <clears throat> I planned on waking up literally an hour ago, 7.15, but I just have such a hard time getting up on Sundays because I know it's gonna be a late day. So I just like convinced myself in my mind, you need the extra sleep. But anyways, we have to get rolling. I have about an hour to get ready. And I plan to do a lot in this hour. Okay, so first on the agenda is I think I'm gonna do a face mask because for the past few days, um, I'm not gonna say the past few days, but like yesterday and maybe the day before, like I literally just haven't been taking care of my skin the way that I needed to. And on Sundays, I tend to wear a little makeup, so I prep my skin the night before, and I did take a clip of that, but I look really ratchet, so I don't know if I'll use it, um, but if I do, then you see that whole explanation. I'm going to put on a little face mask, and then while my face mask is on, I'm going to try to clean my room very quickly. My Sundays used to be, like, cleaning days. And with like me studying throughout the week and working, um, I just really don't have another day that I can clean. So it's mostly Sundays and Monday early mornings, which is tough. I think I'm either gonna do Emma Chamberlain's Bad Habit Enzyme Mask or her 10 Minute Rehab green juice charcoal detox mask let me read and see what both offer so someone's texting me this early i need to like be speed putting this one but i'm telling y'all i don't know if in this happens to anybody else but i kind of move so slow in the mornings mask is so messy it like leaves like a a green tin everywhere so I'm trying my best to be clean but anyways like I was saying I'm gonna use this next I think this stays up here for 10 minutes I might do a little bit longer just depending on how my skin feels don't recommend but I've used this plenty of times before and it really does help my skin I'm gonna use the 10 minutes or whatever to clean my room as fast as I can literally like express clean and yeah, I'll wash this off and get in the shower and straighten my hair and put on makeup and brush my teeth and wash my face and make some coffee and eat. Oh, we made breakfast casserole yesterday. Schmack. So I feel like I should set you up like over here, but you're just gonna see how messy my room is and that's okay because sometimes we go through things in life. Is Alexa? Set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Okay, well, I'm about to wash my face and get in the shower, and I will see you guys afterwards so I can do the rest of my skin routine and eat breakfast, and yeah, okay, bye. All right, guys, voicing over this part, I'm going to start off by washing my face with the CeraVe cleanser. Love it. 10 out of 10 recommend. 
I try to scrub my face for about 30 to 45 seconds. Really get all that dirt out of there. Then I'm rinsing my face off. Next, I pat my face dry. Don't rub it in. Just pat the water off. And next up, I'm brushing my teeth. Yeah, got that whitening fresh toothpaste. Let's go, baby. Next, I am using the Glossier Niacinamide. Um, hopefully, I said that right. I do a few drops on my face, and then I proceed to rub it in. Now I'm doing the Tony Molly Eye Retinol Cream. It's literally my favorite product. I ran out of it. I need to buy some more. But that's for another vlog. I think I'm going to do a skincare haul, so let me know if you want to see that. Next, I'm putting on ChapStick. Yo, got that EOS. Um... Next up, going in with the Glossier Vitamin C Serum. I love that product too, and I'm almost out of it. Might order some more, might find a new one to use, who knows. Rubbing that in, scrub dub dub. Oh, we left. Oh, we put on a new sweatshirt, okay. And we are leaving again. Go Erica. Okay, now we're putting on a new sweatshirt. Guess I like that one better. It is Lululemon, so who can really blame me? Moving on. We are putting on the Tony Molly Cooling Serum. It's This is literally probably my favorite product. It just keeps your skin from being dry or producing more oils than you need because you know when your skin is super dry, your face tends to do that. Next, we're doing the Glossier Lip Balm. Um, and now we're putting on moisturizer. Oh, she doesn't like that one. Oh, what is she doing? She's looking for her other moisturizer she likes to use. Oh, she's leaving. You know why? Because my sister stole it. Yep, this is the one that I wanted to use. That is the Ordinary Moisturizer. And I think it has niacinamide and some other stuff in there that, you know, does the job that you need it to do. So we're rubbing it in there. Sometimes I do a few drops of, like, facial oil, but I guess I didn't do that that day. Probably because I was going to be producing enough oil on my face from working out. Always put your excess moisturizer on the back of your hands. That is my pro tip. Okay, anyways, um, I think she's done. I think she's taking her hair out. Ooh, yeah, girl, let them see it. Bye. So I just made my coffee. Once again, I'm gonna apologize for the loud sounds down here, but what can you do when you live in a family of six? Things never really go the way that you plan them to. And now I'm looking in my fridge to get my breakfast casserole that I made. Fun fact about me, I don't like cheese. So I put, I do like, I like Parmesan cheese, but not a lot. So I made it with Parmesan cheese. And of course I put a little bit of sharp cheddar because that's what the recipe called for. You know, you got to do what you got to do. And it turned out amazing. Thanks for joining my morning with me and I'll see you next time. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago.